I would suggest turning off the television. That's probably the single worst thing you can do for consumption. If you're paying attention to what's on the TV screens, you're not paying attention to what's going into your mouth, and you end up eating as much as a third more. My name is Professor Charles Spence. I'm head of the Crossmodal Research Laboratory at Oxford University and author of the book Just Out, Gastrophysics, The New Science of Eating. So I think for, for many people, uh, I feel like they'd like to you know, sort of manage their weight better. They don't want to spend their lives hungry, but want to know is there anything I can use or any sort of sensory nudges out there that might help me just to eat a little bit less. And I think there are. If you're going to eat some snack food, put it on a red plate, you'll end up eating less. Why not try serving yourself from a smaller plate rather than a larger one? That seems to trick the brain into thinking there's more food there. And if you're part of the growing kind of bowl food trend at the moment, uh, make sure you have a rimless bowl rather than one with a rim. Because again, that sort of tricks your brain uh, into, into thinking there's more there. And beyond the plate itself, I would suggest turning off the television. Because that's probably the single worst thing you can do for consumption. If you're paying attention to what's on the TV screens, you're not paying attention to what's going into your mouth and you end up eating as much as a third more uh, as a result. And finally, maybe, uh, why not try eating with heavy cutlery in the hand? From the research we've done in Oxford and elsewhere, it seems that can uh, lead to an enhanced perception of quality and maybe satiety uh, in, what we in what we consume as well.